So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Moonfall, and you know the moon? Yeah. It's gonna <laughs> fall. Oh, we put you know the right moon? in the title? That's wild. Yeah, so at the beginning of this movie, I have not seen astronauts this movie. Brian and Jacinda are up in space, mm -hmm. right? And they get attacked by this weird nanobot swarm thing, and it kills their friend. A very rude swarm. Yeah, but Brian's the only one who saw it, it's so he gets swarm. blamed for everything and fired, and then 10 years go by. Jeez. And so then we're gonna meet this conspiracy theorist guy, Casey. And what's his deal? Well, he loves Elon Musk, and he has IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome? Why bring that up? That's character development. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, and we're gonna bring it up a no, lot. All right. So he thinks uh, the moon is a megastructure, okay. and he sees that its orbit is changing, so he goes to see Brian for help. Okay. And then the moon's gonna start messing with gravity. It's gonna make this big old tsunami. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, so Casey and Brian have to run up to the top floor of this building, and then they go to sleep. They go to bed. Yeah, they're sleepy now. It's time for bed. They go to they sleep. Seem like they should figure out how to get out of there. Yeah, they're real sleepy, though. So then Jacinda, who's now the head of NASA, sends a helicopter to pick them up because she wants Brian's help. How does she know where they are? Unclear. So she tells Brian she wants him to go to the moon and save the world, but he's like, I got my own problems down here. He has more important stuff to do than saving the world. Yeah, he's a busy guy. All right. So anyway, then he finally right. agrees, and it's time to go. Wait, so what's the plan exactly? Oh. oh, well, see, it turns out NASA knew about the nanobot swarm thing like years ago, and they started this project to make an EMP to stop it. They didn't finish the project? Now they scrapped it because of budgetary concerns. So they just accepted that the moon might kill them someday? Yeah, because the budget just wasn't really making sense. Okay. So they grab an old space shuttle from a museum, and it's what? time to go. I don't think those are operational, but they might be. So they have this team of some might of the best be. people in the world prep uh, this thing, but it on. starts leaking coolant. Oh. So just Jacinda gets on a loudspeaker and is like, well, we tried, everybody. Time to get out of here and go home. <laughs> everybody just takes off immediately. Nobody what? tries to fix it. Yeah, they just get out of there <laughs> instantaneously, yeah. To just go die? To go die, that's right, because there's some <laughs> coolant leaking, so one of the engines is iffy. Well, well it's going to be hard to get to the moon iffy. with the shuttle messed up, I guess. Actually, it's going to be what? super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they realize they can just go without that engine. What? Yeah, the moon's making gravity all weird anyway, so they don't really need mm -hmm. it. They sent everybody away because of a thing they don't actually need. Yeah, because now this forces <laughs> just the main characters onto the space shuttle. <laughs> That's a good point. So Brian and Jacinda and Casey oh, get on the shuttle, goodness. and there are actually these two tech guys left. So they help them launch, but there's a big gravity wave on the way. Uh-oh. And the two tech guys get on a helicopter and try to leave as well. Do they make it? Almost. But instead of flying the helicopter <laughs> upwards, the pilot flies it directly into the tidal wave. So. <laughs> ah, see, that was their mistake. Yeah, that's not how they should have played it. They should have gone upwards. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, while the main yeah. characters are flying up to the moon, their kids are going to be out running stuff on this Earth. What kind of stuff? Well, see, they watch that huge gravity wave unfold up until the moment it's at their feet. Oh, so they goodness. gotta run Come away on. from that now. Makes sense. And Why are they there? Movie, the moon's just gonna kind of play peekaboo with them and cause chaos <laughs> every time. <laughs> oh, peekaboo moons are tight. Yeah, so whenever it shows up, it does something crazy, <laughs> like it messes with gravity, it takes away all the oxygen for a bit. Jeez. There are also what? chunks of the moon just smashing into all the mountains around them. Well, they must be freaking out. Not really, no. They just kind of watch the explosions and go, well, we should keep walking. <laughs> Very calm and collected. But later, some bad guys are going to chase them because they want their oxygen tanks. Oh, what? so what do they do? Well, they switch their brand new Lexus from eco mode to sport mode. <laughs> and that gives them just the edge they need. Oh, yeah. Lexus would give us some money to include that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens with the moon mission? Well, they get up there and that freaking swarm thing comes after them because they realize it'll attack if there are electronics and organic life around, a.k.a. humans. <laughs> so what do they do? Okay. Well, Brian smashes the little electronic detonator for the EMP, so now there's just organic life, so it stops attacking. Well, it's gonna be hard to complete the mission with the detonator smash. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Mm? Oh, really? Yeah, because later it'll work. Oh, they fixed it after <laughs> smashing it? No, it's just gonna work again. What? Okay, well, great. So then they go inside the moon, which, as it turns out, is a mega structure, and the moon gives Brian this big exposition dump into his brain. What, what kind of dump are we talking about? I want to know more about this dump. Well, it turns out the moon was built billions of years ago by ancient humans around a dwarf star as an arc to repopulate humanity because they had this AI tech that went crazy and now the AI swarm is trying to destroy the power source and therefore all humans. Uh. 
Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. May as well happen. It's what? Gonna. So now the good guys need to team up with the moon to destroy the swarm. They team, team up, up with, with the, moon. the moon. Yeah, the moon turns out to be a great ally. In fact, down on Earth, one of the characters is like, the moon is going to help us. And she lifts a full tree off of Brian's son. A very helpful moon. But now the characters got to hurry up because the president what? of the United States wants to nuke the moon. The moon is falling to the Earth and they want to nuke it. That's the plan. Blow up the moon with a nuclear bomb. I'm a professional. Professional screenwriter. <laughs> oh. I mean, all right. So then KC sacrifices himself to save the day. <laughs> wow. Does he crap his pants? What? No. All right. I figured you were going to pay off the yeah, IBS come thing on. somehow. Well, like Chekhov's bowel? I figured. I don't know. Well, no. He doesn't poop himself and he saves the day and everybody lives happily ever after. <laughs> Didn't billions of people die? Yeah, but not a lot of the ones we've been following except for a stepdad. So it mostly works yeah, out. Yeah, right. Well, great. And then KC uh. wakes up inside the moon and the moon is like, we copied your consciousness and you're in the moon now oh what? what and the moon's gonna be like well we better get started started on what i have no idea i just figured we should set up some kind of cinematic universe i have no idea well. oh okay smart yeah well i mean i guess we get a couple of massive no. stars big disaster movie i don't see how it could fail yeah no it bombed yeah i just so you know i again i, I said in the beginning i haven't seen this movie i don't really plan on seeing it until it's free somewhere uh but that sounds ridiculous so I'm hearing Brian Tidwell, you told me in our Discord, we talked about it. He said, Honest Trailers goes at it in this one. So let's let's see exactly where they go <laughs> with this movie, because I'm sure it's gonna be a train wreck. Uh yeah, let, 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 let's just check it out. <laughs> the Batman. Oh no, my vocal booth is leaking oxygen. Gotta save as many brain cells as I can. Is, is there a simple movie we can do this week? <laughs> Moonfall. It's just stupid enough to work. Quick, hand me the script. Why is this written in crayon? Uh, never mind, it'll have to do. Get dumber with each breath. Make trailer go now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, jeez. Director Roland Emmerich, <laughs> Hate World. His movies Hate make world. everything explode, but with nothing left on Earth to boo. <laughs> now, he blow up Moon. <laughs> Moonfall. Now he Brain blow up Moon. Can't think. Oh, well. <laughs> the moon falling, and it looks scary. <laughs> America says, why not nuke moon? What? But first, three astronauts try to save it with a little help oh. from China. The Chinese are offering their prototype moon lander. China good. <laughs> Halle Berry, nice NASA lady. And also mom, Patrick Wilson, sad NASA man. And also dad. My favorite Sam is KC. No other favorite Sam. <laughs> he pills and say funny words. So soldier. Cat. Enjoy movie that won't what? let you forget. Where is Moon? We have to go back to the moon. We have to see what's going on up there. I got a lot of my own problems down here. And the moon falling onto Earth isn't one of them? The moon is rising. Gravity's gonna go crazy. I'll let you know. Are heroes inside Moon now? Does he mean inside the moon? How many Brians do you think are inside the moon? Are we dead? No, we are just inside the moon. <laughs> and also, moon may be falling, but hey, moon not all bad. <laughs> save the moon, save Earth. The moon is going to help us. Moon not all Part bad. Moon, now. moon good. <laughs> Science hard, but not in moonfall. All you need is calculator. <laughs> See if the moon can pull us the rest of the way. KC, can we do it? Uh, um, come on, buddy. Like how spaceship can launch with no ground crew. Look. Missing engine. How do you feel about flying the shuttle with only two engines? <laughs> During tidal wave. <laughs> or when they fly to the moon and get close to star inside. That's a white dwarf. Without melting <laughs> or eye protection. All to learn moon's ancient secret. <laughs> aliens. Or uh, we are aliens. <laughs> so the aliens that built the moon, our ancestors. And Alexa evil. So we escaped in moon. Alexa, what? stop! <laughs> stop! Not today. Meet back. <laughs> but movie, not all about moon. Real moon is family we made along the way. Because back on Earth, divorced astronaut son is in danger. And other divorced astronaut son <laughs> is also in danger. 
Now, survival depends all on new Lexus. All right, let me new Lexus. Lexus, good. Warp speed. Warp speed. And Chinese exchange Can't student. Talk. You don't leave people behind, okay? China strong. <laughs> and that's all. Because Roland Emmerich hates Earth. But Roland Emmerich hates stepdads more. <laughs> hey, Earth in ruins. But dad can plow mom again. Evens out. <laughs> so buckle up for adventure that will make you scared of large ball in sky at night. Because inside that is robot cloud that bangs your face. <laughs> oh, jeez. But don't be too scared. We have enough problems here on ground. In fact, nobody in movie seems to get too worried. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> How did you get out? <laughs> Dad got me out. Also, what? nobody in real life seems to care. <laughs> we should get started. Get started with what? <laughs> it thinks it's a franchise. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Worst astronaut since Diaper Lady. It thinks it's Sat a woman. It's a Samuel franchise. Samuel Starley. <sighs> He's Brian's son. Let's call him, I don't know, Sonny. <laughs> she can do it. <laughs> May the moon be ever in your favor. Oh, jeez. Okay, He's so in that? the planetary benefit, right? And these scientists are telling me that the moon turns out not a moon, okay? That's <laughs> just a megastructure, right? And it's filled with these tiny little robot guys, right? And they're going to crash the moon into Earth, you know? Like, kill us all, right? No, Let, looming yeah. apocalypse. So, anyway, Halle Berry. Yeah, bro, Catwoman. In the costume, you know, just like regular fine Halle Berry. So she... And boats for uh. scale. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's the reason. That's the reason. How about fly? White rock down. <laughs> Oh my god. What would Elon do? Call you a pedo for trying to help? <laughs> this movie was filmed in front of a dead audience. Wow. In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. <laughs> yep, don't say anything. I'm starting to get hungry. You won't like me when I'm hungry. Happy birthday, James. Mm -mm -mm. Brian? <clears throat> Brian, you were not messing around. That was <laughs> See, I, I always say I love it when Honest Trailers goes off kilter from the norm. You know, we, we know he's going to do the voice like we're used to. Um, like, what was that one guy's name? The main guy that used to do all the trailers back in the day. I believe he passed away now. But we expect that from Epic Voice Guy. When he goes off kilter like in After Earth, when he just kind of goes off like this is ridiculous. That's what made that Honest Trailer really hilarious. This one, hilarious. The fact that it, the way it started, people are like, do the Batman, do the Batman. He's like, wait, no, I'm losing oxygen. I'm getting really dumb. I got to do Moonfall. <laughs> and then it goes the rest of that trailer like that. All his sentences are fragmented. It's not clear what he's talking about. And the movie shows that. I watched Jeremy Johns's uh, uh, review of the movie and that kind of let me know. I'm not going to watch this theaters. I'll wait till it's free somewhere. Um, Chris Tuckman, I watched his review as well. And uh, so, yeah, it, I knew I wasn't going to watch this movie, but I had to watch these. And the honest trailer for me kills it here, which is very rare. You see, I did the pitch meeting first. I kind of did some of what you guys asked for and the honest trailer was better. <laughs> the pitch meeting, very funny. Ryan George still kills what he does there, but the honest trailer just knocked out of the park. That When they go off kilter with it, when they go off script from the norm, that's when Honest Trailer really shines, and I loved it here. So let me know your favorite in the comments below, Pitch Meeting or Honest Trailer. Have you seen this movie, though? Have you seen it? And, and based on these videos, have they fully uh, uh, put out what this movie is really about? Because uh, <laughs> it looks awful. Uh, but I'm still going to watch it at some point, just when it's free. I'm not going to pay for this. Uh, I'm not going to waste my money. Because it looks ridiculous. It looks like it's fun ridiculous. Like 2012. The Day After Tomorrow, though, was really good, though. Like, I actually enjoy that one. Uh, but most of these movies are just, you know, they're just... They're just dumb. Obviously, Independence Day is, is a classic. That's one of his best. But The Day After Tomorrow, I really enjoy. Uh, Independence Day Resurgence was horrible. Moonfall obviously looks horrible. Uh, and <laughs> 2012 was like fun, but it was stupid. Uh, so, you know, this is kind of what he does. Is he the Uwe Ball of, you know, disaster films? Is that kind of how it is? Because most of his movies are just ridiculous and things need to happen for the Earth to get destroyed in some way. But... I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, though, as always. What do you guys think of the movie? What do you think of these two videos? And again, pick your favorite. I might do a poll on this one because I think it could go the other way. If you guys really choose Pitch Meeting, then you love Pitch Meeting. But I, I personally don't feel that Pitch Meeting was the best one here. Honest Trailer killed it.
Just my personal opinion. Thanks for watching with me. Thanks for laughing with me. I appreciate that you guys come back and check these out with me when I upload. Uh, <laughs> members, subscribers, watchers, thanks for all the support. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Also, everybody, hit that like button. Helps the channel in a big, big way, more than you know. I really appreciate that. And uh, otherwise, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys, as always, on the next video. Have a good one.